And if you're ready, we will come on standing today. We start on standing. So let's come on our mountain pose. Have our feet shoulder width distance or a feet, two feet between your feet. That's usually how we measure the standing pose. And pressing down the outer edge of your feet towards your mat, your toes, and relax by your side, shoulder down and back, away from your ear. And if you feel comfortable, maybe closing down your eyes here. Just take a moment to come back to your breath. For the next 60 minutes, it's just for yourself. Your body connection with your breath. Slowly just observe how your body feels like today. Each inhale, see if you can feel that freshness coming into your body, and as you exhale, see if you can relax further down your shoulder. Relax your facial muscles. Each inhale, feel the energy comes in. As you exhale, feel that a little bit sink down towards your mat. Take a couple of minutes here to observe your breath. Use your breath as your anchor for your mind. Follow that breath in and breath out. So you can slowly lengthening your breath in, elongate your breath out. Following that, lengthening your breath, deep breath in, and exhale completely. Slow down our thoughts, draw ourselves inward. Come back to the communication with our own self. Continue with your full breath cycle for three more times. So you can hear your breath. And then slowly draw your palms, your heart center, bow to your chest. Just to set an intention for your practice today. I invite you to try to let go more from your shoulder and weight from your shoulder today. Make yourself feel a bit lighter. Slowly bring a smile to your face and open our eyes. As you inhale, sweep hands all over head. As you exhale, just bring it down to the side. Do it two times to just warm up our shoulder blades, our arms. Inhale up and exhale down one more time like this. Inhale up. Exhale, jump onto the side. And next, inhale, sweep hands overhead. See if you can reach your fingertips further toward to the ceiling. Keep lengthening your spine, lengthening your arm. Keep breath in. And stay for exhale. And then slowly let's drop your left hand on the side and reaching your right hand overhead. Let's see if you can keep your tailbone parallel to right to the front and opening your right side body. Deep breath in. And inhale and come back to the center. And exhale, your right hand drop onto the side. 
the left side reaching over, stretching your right uh, left side body, opening that rib cage. Each inhale, feel the expanding of your side rib cage. And then inhale, we come back to the center. Interlace your hand one more time. Overhead, switching it again, lifting it up. But at the same time, you can draw your shoulder down. Deep breath in. And exhale, release by the side. We're going to interlace your hands behind us. Squeezing your shoulder blade together. Draw your shoulder down. Pull your fingers over down to the earth. From here, we're going to bring your hands over to your right side. And then your back legs over to the right. And then we we'll tip your head to one side, to the right side. Feel that stretching of your left knee. And see if you can draw your right elbow toward to the midline. Deep breath in. Exhale, stay in the pose. On inhale, we come back to the center and we come back to your middle line. You can interlace your finger on the other way to another thumb at the front. It feels a little bit awkward. Again, we draw your shoulder down, squeezing your shoulder blade at the back. And then we bring your hand to your left wrist. And then your right leg over to your left. And you can tip your head to your left side. Draw your left shoulder, left elbow to your to the right, to the midline. Deep breath in. Let's stay for one more breath. On next inhale, we come back to the center. And then we lift our hand. Just give your shoulder a little bit roll. We do one more exercise on standing. On inhale, reaching your hand over, interlace your finger one more time. Turn your palm towards to the ceiling. Again, shoulder down and back on inhale here. And exhale, we're going to draw a circle with our torso. See if you can exaggerate your movement on each expanding, rolling to the side, opening your side. Pressing down onto your feet at the same time, warming up our spine. Then we go to the other side. Keep breathing. Fully relax our shoulder. Just release that, give you a little movement, maybe turn your head. Then when you're ready, coming to step on the front of your mat, interlace our hand behind us one more time. We're going to bend our knees, fold forward, rest our tummy on our thigh, relax your head. Maybe draw your hand toward to the ceiling, that you're lifting up your arms. See the drive, there's a force lifting up your arms towards your ceiling. But at the same time, keep breathing. It's okay to bend your knees. Relax your neck, relax your head. Let's take one more breath. And then slowly release our hand onto the floor, come to forward fold. Maybe you can grab your opposite elbow, swing your torso side to side, completely relax your torso over your legs, your head hang. Deep breath in, next exhale, let it go. Slowly release your hands onto your mat and come onto our awful. 
let's do three cats and cows here to warm up our spine from neutral spine as you inhale shine your chest forward pressing the floor away and exhale emphasizing on open the back of your shoulder curl your spine inhale center come back to your cow pose and exhale curl Inhale up and exhale curl. Slowly we come back to neutral spine. Let's push your hip towards your heels. Come to your child's pose. Rest your forehead on the mat. Just come on to three breaths in your child's pose. Deep breath in and out. Come back to your breath. See if you can deepen a bit further on your breath. On this inhale, pressing down onto your hands. We're going to come onto our fingertips, keep on our child pose. See if you can work a bit further of your hands, stretching a bit more onto your arms, lengthening your spine. But at the same time, see if you can press in your hip continuously to your heels to feel that lengthening from your side body lengthening from your spine it feels like someone is pulling you from the back at the same time pulling you from the front deep breath in and then slowly let's walk our hands to your right side but we don't walk too far to the right, just to where you can feel that stretch. And you can still keep your left seat burn to up to your mat. Deep inhale to your left rib cage. And exhale, sink into your stretch. On this inhale, slowly come back to the center, walk our hand to your left side. Keep your right step bones onto the mat, onto your heels. And then next inhale, we come back to the center. Pressing onto our hand and come back to our all four. On next inhale, let's bring your left hand on top of your left shoulder. Inhale, we're opening to the left side. So with your hand on your shoulder, we are actually following the shoulder rather than to the hand. So we're focusing on the shoulder, deep breath in. And exhale, bring your left hand over to the right window of your right hand. And then inhale, come up, again, left hand onto your shoulder. And then exhale, left hand straight through to your right hand of the window. And maybe you can extend your right arm over, feel that more stretch. And slowly come back to your center, pressing down onto your right hand, left hand planning onto the mat. You try onto the right side. So right hand on top of your right shoulder, on inhale, opening to your right side. And exhale, bring your right hand over to your left side. On inhale, come up one more time, opening your right, sorry, and exhale, bring your right arm over to your left side. Maybe expand your left hand overhead, deep breath in. And slowly we come back to hand center, pressing down onto your left hand, come back to your all four. From here, we're going to a dolphin pose. So we pop puppy pose. So we're coming onto our forearm. From here, you can walk your arm a little bit forward, but at the same time, we bring our hip in line with our knees. From here, we're stretching our arms forward. And we rest our forehead on the mat. 
Keep that. Then you're going to bend your elbow and bring your hands behind your back. Deep breath in to your shoulder. Stretching your arms. Relax your head. And slowly release from the pose, pressing down to your hand, come back to your all four. You push back to your child's pose, rest your forehead on the mat, bring your arms by the sides, just give your shoulder a bit of relax. Keep working. And now, let's stay here for two more breaths. Just feel how your shoulder feels like. How's your breathing? And slowly, when you're ready, we come back onto our all form. We're going to tuck our toes, push our hips toward to the ceiling to downward facing dog. Pressing down onto your palms, pressing your chest toward to your thighs. Maybe you can walk your dog to feel more stretching with more movement. Bend your one knee than the other. Keep relaxing your head, just let it hang. Gaze toward to the back of your toes. And then when you're ready, we come to stillness in downward facing dog. Keep engaging your core, lengthening from your tailbone to the ceiling. One more breath. And then slowly drop onto your knees, child's pose. Deep breath in. And exhale completely. We're going to do that three times from child's pose to downward facing dog movement. So when you're ready, pressing down onto your hand, tap your toes, lift up to downward facing dog. Deep inhale. As you exhale, bend your knees, drop back to child's pose. Inhale, tuck your toes, push back to down facing dog. Exhale, drop your knees, child's pose. Inhale, tuck your toes, push back to down facing dog. Exhale, drop onto your child's pose. Deep breath in here. Exhale completely. And then slowly we walk our head to work to our knees. We come on to our kneeling positions. We're going to do a few movement from our kneeling position today. So from here, as we inhale, sweep hands up. We're going to lifting up our hips off to reaching our fingertips to our ceiling. On exhale, we're going to bring your hand behind your back, come to child's pose. And turn your head toward to your left side. And then reaching your left hand overhead. You feel that lengthening of your left side. On inhale, we're coming back up to our kneeling position, reaching hands forward to the ceiling. And exhale, child's pose, hands behind. And this time, turn our head toward to your right side, lengthening your right hand overhead. Deep breath in. And then slowly we come back up on our seated pose. So we do that one more time like this. So from our kneeling seated position, inhale, reaching hands over, 
lifting up our hips off the mat. And exhale, bring our hand behind our back, child pose. Turn your head towards your left side, reaching left hand over. Deep breath in. Slowly bring your hand back and come back to your seated pose, reaching hand up. Inhale. And exhale, hand behind, come to child's pose. Turn your head towards your right, reaching right hand over. And bring your right hand to your back. Come back to our kneeling position. And then we slowly bring our hand back onto your mat. Come back to all four. Tuck your toes down facing dog. Deep breath in. And out. And slowly we're going look towards your hand and walk to the front of your mat. Let's fall forward. On inhale, hands on your shin bone, halfway lift, lengthening from your spine. And exhale, we fall forward. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead to, to the ceiling. Exhale, hands to heart center. We continue with our frog. On inhale, sweep hands over. Exhale, fall. Inhale, halfway lift. Next, half fold. Let's plant your hand and bring your right leg to the back. Drop onto your right knee. And tuck your toes. Engage your core, engage your legs. Inhale, come up to your low lunge. See if you can draw your shoulder back and down. And fly your ear away from your ear. Breath in, pressing down onto your feet, find your balance, engage your core, gently tuck your tailbone. Deep inhale, stay for exhale. One more inhale, reaching your arms over to the ceiling. Exhale, when you open your arms to the side, like a cactus arm. Squeeze your shoulder blades behind you. Inhale. Reaching up towards your ceiling. Exhale, open to cactus arm. Two more times like this. Inhale. Next up. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, back to your to the ceiling. Exhale, this time interlace your hand behind you. Open your chest, squeeze them. And exhale, fall forward. Left shoulder on your left knee. It's going to draw your arms overhead. Drop your head. Keep breathing. And inhale, use your breath. Squeeze your torso. Come back up to center. Low lunge. And exhale, plan your hands on the mat. Pressing down onto your right hand. Left hand reaching. Deep breath in. And maybe you can place your left hand behind your sacrum. And from here, you can draw yourself even further, opening to your left side. Point your elbow towards your back. Deep breath in. And then slowly bring your hands back onto your mat. Cut your back toes down with facing dog. Deep inhale. And exhale completely. Stay for one more breath here. And then on next inhale, let's bring your right leg between your hands and drop your left knee down. And tuck your toes. As you find your balance, engage your core, pressing down onto your feet, come onto your low lunge, squeezing your thighs to each other. 
Relax your shoulder. Soften your face. Soften your tongues. Engage your core. Tuck your tailbone. Squeeze your pelvic ball. Deep breath in. On next inhale, reaching your hands up. Exhale, squeeze in your shoulder blade. Bring your arms to the side. Cactus arm. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, squeeze your shoulder blade to wrap each other at the back. Three more times like this. Inhale. And exhale, squeeze. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reaching back towards your ceiling. Exhale, interlace your finger behind you, maybe the other way. Put your thumb to the front. Squeezing your shoulder blade one more time. Draw your shoulder away from your ear. And exhale, we fall forward. Right shoulder blade on top of your right shoulder on top of your right knee. Draw your arms together towards your ceiling. Let your head hang. Deep breath in. On next inhale, use your breath. Draw your torso back to the center. Low lunge. Hands on the mat. Pressing down onto your left hand. Right hand with you to your ceiling. And maybe bring your right hand behind your back. Fingertip pointing to the back of your room, opening your body to your to right side, be further. Keep breathing. And slowly come back to your center, hands on the floor, tuck your back toes down the facing door. Deep breath in. Next, exhale, let it go. Let's take one more full breath. On next inhale, left leg between your hands. You're going to do that for one more time, but option. You can drop onto your knees, or if you want a bit of challenging, come onto your feet. And when you find your balance, come onto your lunge. Keep pressing down onto your feet. Engage your core. Relax your hand, relax your shoulder, engage your arms. You're going to do a cactus arm. So inhale, reaching, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades, inhale, up, and exhale, squeeze, inhale, and exhale, squeeze, two more times like this. Next, inhale, come back onto your lunge. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Find that stretch of your shoulder blades, shoulder down, back. And then we fall forward, humble warrior, left shoulder on top of your left knee. Bring your torso inside of your left thighs. Deep breath in. On this inhale, gently come back up to your center. Hands on the mat. Right hand pressing down onto your mat. Left hand reaching towards your ceiling. Again, you can place your hands behind you to bring more opening to your left side. Deep breath in. And exhale, come back to center, pressing down to your hands, down facing them. 
the inhale, and exhale completely. Take one more breath. We set our body for the other side. When you're ready, on the inhale, bring your right leg between your hands. Your option to drop onto your left knee or onto your feet and onto lunge. Take your choice when you're ready. Inhale, come onto your lunge. Pressing out onto your feet. Engage your core. Shoulder up, down and back. Keep breathing. Come on to our cactus arm five times. So inhale, reaching. Exhale, open. Squeeze your shoulder blade. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Follow your breath as you move. Two more times like this. One last time. Inhale. Exhale, open. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, interlace your hands behind you. Open your chest. Go forward. Right elbow on top, right knee. Relax your head. Draw your arms towards your ceiling a little bit further. Keep breathing. On next inhale, use your breath. Guide yourself up. And then exhale, hands on your mat. Pressing down onto your left hand. Right hand over to the ceiling. Still lengthening from your spine. Maybe place your hand behind you. Breath in. And slowly we come back to center, pressing down onto your hand. Bring your leg to the back. One more time, downward facing dog. The inhale. Exhale completely. Let's drop on your knees. Come on to our child pose. Our resting pose. But you're welcome to stay on to your downward facing dog. See how your body feels like. We will stay here for five breaths. Just to check it in. How's your breathing? How's your body? Deepen your breath as you sink your body into the pose. And then slowly when you're ready, we will meet back at downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Exhale. On next inhale, let's bring your left leg between your hands. Spin your back heel down onto your mat. Pressing down to the back edge of your back foot. Pressing down onto your front feet, finally balance, come up on your warrior one. Your torso turn towards to the front of your mat. Relax your shoulder. And then slowly we're going to bring our hand open to the side to warrior two. Keep pressing now onto our feet. Let's come to a peaceful warrior in. Put our bum palm reverse our warrior. As you exhale, we come back to your center. Bring our left elbow on top of your left knee. And then right hand overhead. From here, you can place again your hands on your sacrum. 
to keep your torso opening to your right side body. And you feel open enough, open your hand, overhead. And you feel a little bit more, maybe you can bring your left hand onto your mat or onto a block. Deep breath in. And it's inhale and come back to your center. Let's strengthen your front foot. Bring your hands onto your hips. Turn your feet to one side of the mat, to the long edge of your mat. And we're coming to bend our knees to our Hindu squat. And place your hands onto your knees. From here, we're going to turn our torso toward to your left and sink your right elbow in. A bit of twisting, the stretching of your arm and your shoulder. And then inhale, center, and come to the other side. Keep that knees open. Keep breathing. And then slowly we come back to your center, strengthen your feet. Come back to that warrior two one more time. We're coming to our side angle one more time as we did it before. Left elbow on top of your left knee, right hand overhead. If you want a little bit more, come on to your hands and bring your top hand behind you and your hand can reach in your back or reaching for your thighs and keep opening your shoulder. And here, if you have a towel, you can grab a towel behind and we are coming to explore our full bind. So you can grab your left hand under, grab that towel or grab your hand and see what's in your practice. We're aiming to opening a bit further of our shoulder, but keep breathing. And then slowly release from your bind. Come back to warrior two. Turn our torso back to the front, warrior one. One last pose on this side. Come on to our balancing pose. Let's bring our left hand under, right hand on the top, and eagle arm. Find your center, find your balance, pressing down onto your left foot. Bring your right hand foot just next to your left. And when you find your balance, you can Michael bend your left foot and bring your right foot over. You can rest your toes on the floor, or if you want to come to your eagle pose, wrap your right foot over to your left leg. Keep squeezing everything into the midline. Find your focusing point. Keep breathing. It's okay to fall over to the pose. Just try again, play around with the balance. And then slowly unwrap yourself and bring your leg to the back. Come back to your warrior one. Hands on the mat. Down facing dog. Deep inhale. Next, exhale completely. Take one more breath. You only have one more side on the other side to go. So when you're ready, left leg between your hands. Spin your back heel down. Sorry, right? Right foot between your hands. Spin your left, uh, left heel down. Inhale, come up to warrior one. 
keep pressing that onto the back edge of your left foot. Open your torso towards to the front of your mat. Keep breath in. On exhale, open your arms to warrior two. Let's flip your front palm reverse to warrior. Inhale, come back to your center. Left elbow on top of your left knee. Right hand overhead. Maybe again, you can bring your palms onto your sacrum fingertip, pointing to actually the back of your room. Use your elbow, open a little bit further of your shoulder towards your left side. Deep breath in. Maybe you can reach your hands onto your floor. Bring a little bit more opening of your hips, reaching further from your top hand. Deep breath in. And then inhale and come back up. Hands onto your hips, strengthen your front foot, form your toes to up to one side of the long edge of your mat. Bring your hands behind the interlace your finger, opening your chest, deep breath in, exhale for forward. Bring your hands behind you. See if you can. Imagining drawing your arms down to to the floor. We let your head squeezing your shoulder blade back. Stay for one more full breath. Very juicy stretch for your shoulder. And then slowly release your hands, grow yourself up. Come back to that warrior two one more time. Coming to explore your full bind. So if you want, you can have your towel ready. Bend your left knees, left elbow on top of your left knees. Right hand behind you. You can either place, sorry, left hand behind, you can place your left hand inside of your thigh or just leave it on the back, right hand over onto the floor or maybe come on to explore your bind, grab onto your towel, your strap or your hand. Just play around with your body and see how your body, what your body can do Keep breathing. And then slowly, when you're ready, come back onto your warrior two. Turn your torso to the front, warrior one. And this time, left hand on the top, right hand under. Squeezing onto your eagle arm, pressing both elbows toward each other. Find your focusing point, pressing down onto your right foot. Left foot bring toward to the side of your right foot. And then when you find your balance, you can bring your left leg over to your right. Maybe rest your toes onto your feet, onto the floor. Or you can wrap over around. Come to your eagle pose. Keep squeezing everything to the center. It's okay to flow. Just explore your body. Deep breath in. And then slowly unwind yourself and come back to your warrior one. Hands on the mat, push back. Let's drop onto our knees, come onto our child's pose. Come back to observe your breath. And you can deepen a little bit further of your inhale. 
Release more on your exhale. Listen to your breath. See how your body feels like. And then slowly when you're ready, we come back onto our all four. We're just gonna roll ourselves onto seated and bring our leg to the front. We're coming to do a forward fold. So extend your feet to the front. And you can move around the flesh on your hip so they can sit comfortably. Adjust your pose. From here, reaching our hands over to the ceiling. And exhale, we tip from our sit bone, tilt forward. We continue lengthening our spine. And to where you feel that's enough, then you can drop your hands by your side. And come to a bit of release from our shoulder and a bit of stretching for our lower back. And maybe you can drop your head down. Feel that very nice stretch from the back of your neck as well. Keep breathing in and out. Let's take for three more breaths here. Slowly we roll yourself up to the center. We're going to bring bend your left foot on the side of your on the side inside of your right thigh. Just place your feet just next to your knees. From here, we're going to turn our torso towards your left. And then reaching your right hand over to outside of your left knees. You can always welcome to stay on your right hand just outside of your left knee as well. And your left hand behind you to support yourself. You can lean a little bit backward so you can be more accessible into the pose. Find your option to see where you can feel that twist. And then after you find that pose, then you can turn your head. For your head, always turn the last after you feel that stretch, uh, the twisting into your pose. Keep breathing into your abdominal. And then exhale, twist a little bit more. Breathing into your abdomen. And then slowly we come back to the center. Going to extend your left foot and then bend your right foot next to your left knee. From here, inhale, reaching your hand up. 
and then turn your torso to your, to your right. And then pick your option, either have your arms on your knees or your elbows. Right hand behind you to support yourself. And come onto your twist pose. Pressing your elbow or your arm to your knees. And give you more accessible to open to the right side. Keep your spine straight, lengthening from the crown of your head. And if your leg feel, feel comfortable, then you can turn toward to the back of your room. Keep breathing. Slowly we come back to the center. Stand our feet to the front and come onto our back. Let's draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a very good hug. We're going to do one more twisting pose, twisting exercise. So when you're ready, we're going to roll yourself onto your left side. Extend your arm in front of you and bring your knees just bend 40 degrees like that onto your left side body. And we're going to inhale, open your left hand and open it towards your right. But keep your knees onto the floor. And come back to the center, come back and close your arm. You do two more time movement like this. Inhale. And then exhale. And you gently, slowly. And then close. One last time, we're just going to let it open like that. Come on to another twist pose. You can have your head look towards the ceiling if that can feel more comfortable. Or if your neck's okay, you can turn towards your right side. See if you can keep both shoulder onto the mat. Breathe into your abdominal. As you exhale, twist. Keep your inner organ a very good massage. And then slowly use your abdominal muscle, draw yourself back into the center. And this time we're going to roll ourselves into our right side. Okay, bend your knees, close your arm onto your right side. On inhale, open your left arm. Your head can follow where your arm moves. And exhale, close. Inhale, open. And exhale, close. One more time like this. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Our next inhale, as we open, we just let it open. And exhale, staying into the twist. 
Again, you have option to have your head just look towards your ceiling or look towards your left side. Deep breath into your belly. And exhale, just let it twist. Draw your left shoulder a bit down towards the mat. Each inhale, fill your body with the freshness. The air, exhale, let it carry anything you don't want to suck in your body, let them out. Inhale, repeat, replenish your body. And exhale, let it relax. Slowly on your next inhale and come back to your center. One last time, give yourself a very good squeeze. Baby, come on to your happy baby pose or any movement before your subhasana. Any movement that your body feels like. At any time when you're ready, you come onto your subhasana, extend your feet while open, your arms by your side, palms facing up, relax your shoulder, draw your shoulder down and back, relax your head, relax your tongue, your facial muscles. Relax your torso, your lower back, your hip bone. Relax your thighs. Relax your knees, your feet. Relax your arms, your shoulder blade, your back shoulder blade, your collarbone. Just your, let your body completely relax into this pose. You have done a very good job today. And this is your time to give yourself a permission just for a couple minutes here to completely be still. Find your connection with your breath to your body.
you can stay as long as your body may be disposed. And anytime when you're ready, you can bring a little movement to your toes, to your fingers. Maybe rock your head side to side. Slowly we're reaching our arms overhead, stretching from your toes to your fingertips. Can you do three cleansing breaths here? So when you raise as you inhale, deep breath in all the way to your belly. Next, I open your mouth, let it go. Deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. One more time, like this. Deep inhale, all the way. Next, exhale, let it go. And then, when you're ready, slowly roll yourself to your favorite side. And you can use your hand to support yourself from up to your sitting pose. Let's bring your palm to your heart center. Just bow to yourself to show your gratitude toward yourself for the energy you have, for the amazing body you have. And it supports your everyday life. And we also share our gratitude to each other to share the energy together. Come to your third eye for clarity of thought, to your leg for kind and honest speech, to your heart for love and compassion. Namaste. Thank you.